Technology is changing everything, and that includes farming. Once upon a time, farming was a slow and steady profession where farmers would work with highly limited and rudimentary tools, but that's far from the case today. These days, we're basically only a year or two away from having robot farmhands. You'll agree when you see where we're already at. This is the 20 most advanced agricultural machinery you have to see. Number 20. The Robotic Tea Harvester As a certain robot once said, Judgment Day is inevitable. And when you look at the first entry in this video, you're going to understand that phrase. You see, in the United Kingdom, in 2023, a man decided to make a special robot that would harvest the tea crops that he was growing. Yes, tea crops is a thing, and there's only one tea plantation in England, just so you know. This machine is called the T-Bot because of course it's called that. It was able to go through the crop lines and do its job without any guidance. And adding to the uniqueness factor of the machine, it's also powered entirely by solar panels. It can drive itself and is powered by the natural world. This is indeed the beginning of the fall of man. And hopefully we can drink all of the tea before it's over. As you can see in the video, the machine goes over the crops and collects the tea leaves, I presume, from the plants and then keeps them in a special storage area while leaving the rest of the crop intact so that it can continue to grow over time. But all jokes about Skynet aside, this is a big deal for both robotics and agriculture. The goal of many industries, whether we like it or not, is being able to mechanize certain things to the extent that they don't have to have people doing certain tasks or watching over the machines constantly. Just imagine if something like this T-Bot goes and gets mass-produced for other crops. That would allow farmers to focus on other parts of their fields or barn areas while the robots go and take care of the crops themselves. That would make for far less work for a farmer to do, and if I'm being honest, farmers are the, one of the hardest working people that you're ever going to meet. I'm not saying that we're on the cusp of a self-automated farming revolution or anything, but we may be closer to something like that than what we think. Now it's time for the sweet topic. In the 1980s, the Soviets developed something incredible, something that could be described as the most advanced agricultural machinery you have to see. A vehicle that could be used to travel great distances, a flying combine harvester. While only two or three units were made, the whole purpose of these things was to get from one end of a large farm to the other without interfering with crops, something that they apparently needed. Why these never became mass-produced, I'm not sure, presumably because cases were limited, but still, it's a quirky thing, isn't it? Would modern-day farmers benefit from having one of these? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below by using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Sugar Beet Harvesters Many of the devices that we're going to unveil to you on this list are not all-in-one tools, but instead are quite focused machines that are designed to help with one kind of crop and do that task in a very effective way. Whether you realize it or not, different crops do have different methods of being harvested, and so if you don't want to damage your product, you're going to have to be mindful of how you pick off what you need and not damage everything else in the process. For example, have you ever seen a sugar beet harvester in action? Well, you're about to. At one point in time, the machines that were used to pick sugar beets were rather limited. They had just one row that could be used to harvest everything, and so it would take quite a long time to get done. Modern self-propelled sugar beet harvesters have predominantly six-row harvesting units. The beets are lifted from the ground by lifting shares. They then go through some cleaning rollers and the transfer web and discharge elevator, and the beets are separated from the adhering soil and transported into the holding tank of the machine. They're then deposited for transport, and their leaves are picked as they serve either as food or fertilizer. It turns out we've come quite the long way, and these sugar beet farmers are definitely happy to have such machines at their side. Number 18. Agriculture Drones Now, I made a joke earlier about Skynet and robots taking over everything, which includes farming, 
but there's a lot more to it than you may realize. After all, drones are being used in agriculture right now in places like India, but why would they use such a device in farming? Another thing that only farmers get is that because of the perspective they have to see their farms, they have to do a lot of guesswork as to what they're doing and when. After all, they can only farm within a certain area and have to do their best to keep their crop line straight. That's difficult to do when you can only see your farm from the ground level. But with drones, you can literally take things to the skies and get yourself an aerial perspective so that you can get a better grasp of everything that's taking place on your farm. There's another element to this as well. If the drone is big enough, it can help with dispersing various chemicals that farmers use in order to help keep their field safe while encouraging the plants to grow. Drones can go much faster than most farming equipment, so that's a big boon to them as well. As with all things, this is another case of someone using the technology of the times to do something more efficiently, and more countries are likely to buy into the technique over time. Number 17. Tree Shakers Now, it's no secret that humanity has a penchant for trying to overcomplicate processes so that they can get a task done. But especially in the agricultural field, sometimes the best solution is a simple one. And that brings us to tree shakers. Now, there's not a lot of leeway with that title, so you can absolutely guess what these things are like and what they do. This particular device that I'm showing you is a very clever version. Simply put, they put a tarp under a tree that's attached to the machine, and then they put on the shaker via its tree trunk, and then they shake it just enough so that everything that's on the branches, which in this case is nuts, will fall down into the tarp. They keep that going for a while and then return to the tarp, and where the nuts have fallen onto a conveyor belt that takes them to a holding place. And so you get all the bounty of the tree with minimal work, and you don't harm the tree in the process. That's what you call a simple solution to a hard problem. And if you think that the more complicated machines are better, well, you're likely barking up the wrong tree. Number 16. Carrot Harvester Here's another one where the entire concept is rather simple, and so it leads to a smooth execution, which is exactly what you want on a farm. The carrot harvester can be used to harvest other crops if you are so inclined, but it uses a special ramp and blades to go into the ground just enough so that it picks up the carrots and places them onto a conveyor belt. They then get dropped onto another belt where they go out of a chute. And what's on the other side of that chute? Well, that would be a truck that holds all of the carrots. Now, admittedly, it is a two-vehicle job, but because of the companion truck size, well, you get to hold a whole lot of carrots at once, and you don't have to do multiple loads to get the job done. Again, it's about simplicity and efficiency, and that's what the harvester does. It makes for an absolutely great machine for anyone who owns a carrot farm. Number 15. The Browed Grape Harvester It would be one thing if I were talking about a standard grape harvester, but I'm not. Instead, I'm talking about the kind of grape harvester that's meant to cultivate grapes that are going to be used for winemaking. After all, when it comes to wine creation, you have to have the best quality grapes around, or else what's really the point? So for companies like Browd, they didn't only make a grape harvester, they made one that can handle tons of grapes all at once and ensure that they're picked properly. To give you some context, in a single 8-hour shift with their harvester, this machine claims that it can destem 197.6 tons of grapes, and that's in just one shift. Equally as important, they swear that the machine is able to minimize losses and ensure that just about everything you'll find in their containers after the harvest is grapes. The 9090X is their leading model of grape harvester, and it's the one that they proudly boast about. Needless to say, if it is as good as they say that it is, well, you can bet that grape producers for wineries are going to have one of these in their fields to ensure that all of their grapes are pristine when it comes time to make the wine. Number 14. The Autonomous Tractor Judgment Day looms ever closer, and if you thought the robotic tea harvester was a clever machine, well, just wait until you meet its big brother. Because unlike the last machine that I showed you, this is a full-on tractor that's entirely self-driving. That will likely worry some of you, but the technology in it doesn't lie. 
or at least it doesn't lie yet. The way that these tractors can move around on their own is via GPS and special radar systems. They're programmed to understand where the land boundaries are within the farm, and then they ensure that they don't go out of bounds. After that, when they're programmed for specific tasks like harvesting and preparing grounds for planting, they then use the same technologies to ensure that they don't go off course. Another thing you have to remember is the need for farmers to have bigger crop yields is more paramount than ever before. This means that they either need to hire more hands to do the work, or they need to bring in machines like this one to get the job done while they're focused on other things. The farming world has to evolve, and it is just simply inevitable. Number 13. Harvesting Robots Since inevitability is on our tongue quite a bit, why stop talking about robots now? In this case, I'm going back to smaller robots that are designed to help with harvesting. I've already showed you how one robot is already doing that, but this is on an entirely different scale altogether, one that's much more variety-based. This machine is able to look at the plants themselves and then accurately determine whether or not they're ready to be harvested. It will then use robot arms to do just that. It can even be outfitted with special grippers to ensure that it doesn't hurt the plants or the crops before plucking them. And given their size, these are perfect for more greenhouse-style farms or even gardens, so you may be seeing these on your street in due time to come. Number 12. Sugarcane Harvester I'm going to say it right now, the John Deere version of the sugarcane harvester is honestly kind of terrifying to look at. It looks like a monster that's been hired to do some farming. Curious aesthetics aside, this particular sugarcane harvester was designed to be one of the most efficient harvesters out there. For example, typically, if you wanted to get more production out of a machine, you had to increase the speed, which could end up damaging crops. However, through this model, it is designed to do double the production without having to go any faster than before. And so, you end up getting the best of both worlds inside of one machine. Speaking of dead loss, there's even a special cleaning system within the harvester that helps to keep the sugar cane fresh so that it doesn't end up dying in transport. Number 11. Swagbot this unique robot was made in Australia for their infamous outback because there are plenty of cattle farmers and ranchers there and due to the wilderness and the terrain and all, it can be rather hard to keep tabs on everything around you. Designed to revolutionize farming practices, it excels in navigating diverse and challenging terrain, which also includes rough and uneven farmland. It's equipped with some advanced GPS sensors, AI capabilities, and it also performs a lot of tasks like monitoring crop health, detecting all of the weeds, and also assisting with livestock management. It has a lot of versatility. It can autonomously move through the field, identify and target weeds with precision spraying, and then gather up all the crucial data that's needed on the soil and the plant conditions. And when it comes to livestock management, it can herd the animals to ensure that they remain in their designated areas, and that reduces the need for human intervention. In addition to that, the Swagbot is said to minimize on chemical usage and promote more sustainable farming practices, and as a result, it's a valuable asset in modernizing and enhancing agricultural operations worldwide. With all of these special features, including an onboard camera that watches everything, along with its special legs, you can just imagine all of the great things it's going to do on the farm. Plus, you also have to imagine what the cattle are thinking with this thing coming at it. Number 10. The SW4014 Wrapper Here's a classic tool in the farmer's arsenal that has definitely been upgraded over the years. Anyone who's ever had to help stack hay or make a hay bale knows that it can be a really dirty and annoying job, and that's before you even have to transport it to wherever it needs to go. You can bet that farmers and others have figured out ways to make the bundling process for bales a whole lot more smooth, and that's where the SW4014 wrapper comes into play. The best part here is that it's easy to use, and the machine does most of the work. It's going to grab the hay bale and then use the laser-guided system to wrap it up all nice and tight and then drop it onto the ground so that it can be moved. Wrapping them ensures that they stay intact, especially if the weather turns bad, 
so the machine becomes a godsend for many of the farmers. Number 9. The Fruit Harvester I already showed you a way to get things like fruits and nuts off of trees, but what happens if those fruits are already on the ground? Just because they fell before you pick them doesn't necessarily make them bad, but instead, it just makes them harder to gather. Enter this very special fruit harvester. This one is designed with a special V-shaped mouth by which it'll spin on the ground and funnel the fallen fruit into its containment area, or at the very worst, it'll push the fruit forward so that it can later be captured. Now, you may not think that it's working when you watch it from the front, but if you look at the backside of the machine, you're going to see that the fruits are indeed being deposited. And when you're a farmer, you don't want to leave any good fruits behind. Number 8. The Tube Line BF8000SL Have you ever wondered what's done with all those hay bales after they're formed and bagged and then shipped out? Well, simply put, they're placed on other farms and then processed so that they can be parsed out over the land for various reasons. However, as you may have also guessed, that's not the easiest thing to do. After all, I mean, who really wants to pick at a hay bale and hope that you have enough in one place? Well, that's where the tube-line BF8000SL comes in. This thing handles a hay bale about 2 meters in length and then slowly spins it around so that it disperses evenly across the field that you want it to be on. It is honestly a little bit hypnotic to watch at work, as all it does is spin the bale around and around and around until everything's on the ground again. It's funny how life works in that way. Number 7. High Speed Discs Now, I've spent a lot of time talking about the action of just getting the crops out of the ground or getting them out in a way that helps farmers out quite a bit. But that's only one side of the industry. I mean, after all, as any farmer would tell you, the other half of the job is getting the seeds into the ground in the first place and prepping the land that you have for planting. It's not exactly an easy job, but it can be easily one of the most time-consuming actions a farmer does at the beginning of the season. And that's where machines like the high-speed discs come into play. These are machines that are designed to cut the ground in such a way that it both tears up and disperses any weird residue that might have gotten into the topsoil, while also ensuring that the ground is cut into well enough to plant the seeds without a whole lot of issues. Another way that you can use this machine is for weed killing. By going at faster speeds, you can literally cut out all of the bad weeds and crops that may damage your next batch, and so you take one more stress off of your mind. Now, arguably, the best thing about this machine is that you'll be able to adjust the blades that you put in the disc so that they can better penetrate the ground or have a good gap in between them for the crops that you know you want to plant. Thanks to the speeds that they can go at and the length of their front-facing cutters, the high-speed discs are meant to go into the field, tear it up the way the farmer needs, and get it all done without having to waste a whole lot of time. It's the perfect tool for a farmer who wants to get in, get out, and just plant his crops. Number 6. The Hemp Transplanter Hemp is a very interesting crop, and I'm sure that plenty of farmers would tell you that. It used to be one of the biggest things produced in colonial times, which includes being harvested by George Washington himself. However, over time it has fallen out of favor for rather controversial reasons. But now it's back, and people are trying to get in on the hemp wave by planting their own hemp fields wherever they can. That's the easy part. The hard part is getting the hemp plants into the ground at a good time so that they can grow really well. And that's where the hemp transplanter comes into play. This machine is able to allow people to perfectly place their hemp plants while they're already in a slightly grown state into the ground so that they're perfectly straight up. And so they can grow them without any issues. Number 5. The Dry Bean Digger Beans are easily one of the most planted and harvested crops in the world, which says a whole lot about humanity and how we don't mind beans or the gas that they provide. However, they can also be something that's rather difficult to harvest if the conditions are not correct. Like with grapes or other crops, you don't want to damage the beans as they're being taken from their vines, or else you lose everything of value. In the case of this dry bean digger from Swear, it promises to pick every single bean possible without any issues, even if the conditions are the worst. 
such as it being a really dry season. And that's the kind of promise that a lot of farmers are going to cling to. Number 4. The Hot Foam Weed Killer now, I touched upon it a few entries ago, but one of the biggest problems that farmers face as a whole is having to go up against weeds. I mean, seriously, if you think your garden has a weed problem, you need to check certain farms all over the world. Whether it be your standard weeds or something like ragweed, you have to worry about them going all over your farm and killing your crops, because if that happens, you're going to get less of a harvest and less money in your pocket. But that's only one part of the problem, because you know the answer is just get rid of them. But that's hard to do when most plant killers are either harmful to the environment, they can kill your crops faster than the weeds would, and more. So farmers need a solution to take out these weeds while also keeping their plants and crops alive. The solution is hot foam. The foam that's being shown is not made out of harmful chemicals, but instead being made via vegetable fibers. What that means is that when you spray the foam on the ground near the trees or crops that you're trying to protect, you don't have to worry about everything dying around it. Equally as important is the way in which it kills the weeds by literally drying them out. Now it's true, the foam simply covers the weeds that you have and dries them out until they die. And it's not going to hurt your crops because they have much deeper roots and so they get the water on their own. And arguably the best part is that the foam is biodegradable, so you simply put it down and you wait for it to fade away. The only remnants of it will be the slightly dried out ground that's left behind, but a little bit of water can fix that in the end. Number 3. The Opitz Optimal 3000 Tree moving is something you may not think of as a farming problem, but it is one that has an impact on farms and the nearby areas. And frankly, we need to do everything we can to save the trees that are already fully grown on our planet. Trying to move trees from one location to another, however, is anything but a basic job. After all, depending on the age of the tree and how long it's been in the ground, its roots will not only be long, but they'll be intertwined within the ground itself. That's why most people will just do the simple thing and cut it down and not really worry about it, but that's also harmful for the environment and it kills a perfectly good tree. Which is why many farmers use the Opitz Optimal 3000. The way this device works is by digging into the ground and grabbing both the tree and the roots, along with the surrounding ground, and then using the vehicle that it's attached behind to move the tree to a better location. It is as simple as it sounds, and the only problem would be if you tried to move a tree that was way bigger than the ones that you're seeing in these videos and images. If you have a decent sized tree on your farm that you need to transplant because of an expansion, well this may be the perfect tool for you. Number 2. The Pluckotrack Senior Compared to some of the other machines that I've shown you, this one may come as a bit low tech. However, the Pluckotrack Senior is not an obsolete machine, it's just one that relies just as much on human power as it does on machine power. As you can see, the point of the device is to allow pickers to more gently place their picked fruit onto a conveyor belt, which then leads to a series of other belts until the fruits are dropped into a crate for transport. Once that crate is full, it can then easily be removed and a new one put in, and the harvesting can start all over again. Like I said earlier, sometimes the most simple solutions work the best, and this gives farmers that without having to rely too much on machine power in the end. Number 1. The Peanut Harvester So, ironically, this peanut harvester is also capable of being a dry bean harvester. I mean, why make a machine that can only harvest one crop when you can have it do harvests for multiple ones? One of the key things about this machine is that you can adjust things like the airflow and other systems that it has so that you can ensure that crops you're harvesting stay intact. Considering how many things we use peanuts for, you can bet that farmers want as many healthy ones as they're able to get in their bounty. This harvester digs up the peanuts, shakes off the excess soil, and separates them from the plants. Modern harvesters are equipped with advanced features like adjustable digging blades, efficient cleaning systems, and automated mechanisms that all ensure a minimal loss of crops and damage. 
These machines significantly reduce the labor and time that's required for peanut harvesting while enhancing productivity. By integrating updated technology with advanced things, peanut harvesters can contribute to more efficient and profitable peanut farming. And really, in the end, where the money is is what's important now, isn't it? It seems this harvester can get the job done, and that's all that a farmer can ask for. That's all from the realm of agriculture and the incredible things that we've built over the last couple of decades. To help revolutionize farming on all levels, which of these machines did you find to be the most impressive? And have you seen of some of them up close? Perhaps you know of another farming vehicle that could have easily made it onto this list. You should be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out all the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.